We have been applying AI to make our products radically more helpful for a while. With generative AI, we are taking the next step. Google recently introduced Gemini, a mind-shattering AI project that is unlike anything else we've ever seen. Gemini is a robust AI model similar to ChatGPT, with a few major differences. Gemini might even outperform GPT-4 and possibly even GPT-5. That's why in today's video, we'll look into Google's Gemini project, how it compares to ChatGPT, and examine its potential future implications. Stay tuned to the end to find out who will win this AI Titan fight. Language models have progressed dramatically over the years, with Google AI's Gemini model emerging as one of the most promising developments. Gemini is poised to change a variety of applications, including chatbots, virtual assistants, and content production, thanks to its remarkable capabilities in natural language processing and generation. Kyle T. Peterson, formerly a scientist, PhD researcher, and expert in the field of applied artificial intelligence, AI, and Google research and engineering teams created this breakthrough in AI models. But how does Google's Gemini function? AI model from Google Gemini is a cutting-edge language model created by Google. It is based on a large dataset that employs advanced techniques such as unsupervised learning to comprehend and generate human-like writing. Gemini has been trained on various sources, including books, web pages, and other publicly available content, allowing it to understand the complexities of language and context. According to Android Authority, Gemini distinguishes itself from other large language models by not depending solely on text for training. Google's approach entails supplying the model with multimodal capabilities, implying a potential shift towards more versatile AI tools than are now available. Google has consolidated its AI teams into a single entity, dubbed Google DeepMind, reflecting this strategic objective. The developments show the company's faith in Gemini as it enters the arena to compete with GPT-4. A multimodal model can perceive and interpret multiple types of data simultaneously, similar to how humans use distinct senses in their interactions with the actual world. You've probably heard of machine learning models like ChatGPT, which can understand and output natural language. Similarly, AI picture generators have demonstrated their ability by creating magnificent artworks and remarkably realistic images from simple textual inputs. On the other hand, Google's Gemini is prepared to raise this concept even further by overcoming the restrictions of a single data format. This distinguishing feature has led to its classification as a multimodal model indicating its ability to handle and interpret multiple types of data consistently. But what exactly does Gemini offer? Gemini certainly has a lot to offer. Gemini has a bright future ahead of it because of its multi-modular strategy with trillions of options, possibly making it the obvious pick for everyone. Gemini can potentially improve user experiences across a wide range of applications. Its natural language processing and generation skills can help chatbots, virtual assistants, and customer support systems to provide more engaging and personalized encounters. Users can anticipate more accurate and contextually relevant responses, creating a more seamless and gratifying experience. Furthermore, Gemini's natural language production capabilities open up new avenues for content development and writing assistance. It can help authors by producing ideas, making suggestions, and even assisting with the writing process itself. This can dramatically improve content creator efficiency by streamlining operations. Gemini also supports multiple languages and worldwide accessibility. Gemini has the potential to break down language barriers and promote global communication due to its capacity to interpret and generate text in different languages. It can provide seamless translation services and multilingual chatbots and help users in their local language, increasing the accessibility of information and services to a broad spectrum of people. But how does it compete with the AI titan ChatGPT? As you might know, ChatGPT4 created by OpenAI is another well-known language model that has received a lot of attention. 
While ChatGPT4 and Gemini have certain similarities, there are also significant variations between the two versions. We first delve straight into the heart of language comprehension. Both GPT and Google Gemini have been trained on vast amounts of data, but what distinguishes them? GPT's generating power allows it to generate human-like text that is very cohesive. Google Gemini, on the other hand, is supported by Google's massive knowledge graph, allowing it to grasp context and deliver highly relevant responses. But who genuinely comprehends the intricacies of language better? Well, when tested with a complicated, ambiguous sentence, it seems that Google Gemini produces the better result. This is because the knowledge graph and contextual awareness offer it a minor advantage in comprehending complex language patterns. While learning language is wonderful, what about practical applications? ChatGPT has been integrated into many creative ventures, producing art, music, and even entire articles. On the other hand, Google Gemini has found a place in Google's array of services, improving search results and making our interactions with technology more conversational. We'll look at the variety of applications to choose the winner of this contest. And the question we need to answer is which has the most potential to transform industries and have a greater impact on our daily lives. It's a tough selection, but ChatGPT wins this round due to its wide range of creative uses and integration into numerous businesses. While we celebrate the great advances, we must not overlook the ethical aspects of AI development. ChatGPT and Google Gemini present prejudice, privacy, and control issues. ChatGPT has come under fire for inadvertently magnifying biases in its training data. On the other side, Google Gemini's data usage tactics have prompted privacy debates. To select the winner of this round, we must assess which challenger has demonstrated the greatest commitment to addressing these concerns and adopting mitigation measures. It's a close call, but Google Gemini wins this round based on the work they've done in addressing these concerns. In regards to which is more versatile, Gemini has exceptional versatility. It is unique in its capacity to handle various data kinds and jobs without needing specific models or expansive fine-tuning techniques. Unlike ChatGPT, Gemini can learn from any domain or data set, regardless of predetermined categories or labels. This versatility enables the AI model to easily tackle new and previously encountered conditions, making it extremely adaptable. Gemini, in addition to its versatility, is also highly efficient. When compared to ChatGPT, which handles different realities separately, the model consumes fewer computational resources and memory. Gemini minimizes resource use without sacrificing performance by integrating numerous modalities inside a unified design. Furthermore, Gemini uses a distributed training technique to expedite learning by leveraging various devices and servers. This method improves overall efficiency and allows for faster learning. Regarding input and output, ChatGPT and Gemini have been trained on huge datasets, with ChatGPT 4, 1 trillion parameters, which is six times larger than ChatGPT 3, 175 billion parameters. This generative AI Gemini model defeats ChatGPT in that it operates on all data forms, including text, audio, videos, graphs, and even 3D models, and can perform activities such as summarization, text analysis, video editing, producing content, sentiment analysis, and captioning all at once. Let's discuss about the future as we reach the last round. ChatGPT and Google Gemini both have the potential to change the way we interact with technology. But how exactly? The improvement of ChatGPT and natural language understanding could result in more intuitive human-machine interactions, making AI assistance more human-like. The context and capabilities of Google Gemini might build a seamless bridge between us and the digital world, transforming customer assistance and other areas. But who has the upper hand in determining the future? The winner of this round is Google Gemini, which has a wide range of possibilities and is deeply integrated into numerous Google services. AI model from Google, with its outstanding natural language interpretation and generation capabilities, Gemini represents a huge leap in language modeling. 
While it shares commonalities with other well-known models such as ChatGPT4, Gemini distinguishes itself by its training approach, large dataset, and affiliation with Google's search infrastructure. With its ability to improve user experiences, streamline content development, and break down language barriers, Gemini sets the way for intriguing future possibilities. However, ethical considerations must be stressed to guarantee that these powerful language models are used responsibly and fairly. As technology advances, language models like Gemini will likely alter how humans engage with AI and the digital world. As technology reshapes customer service, content creation, and other areas, it is laying the groundwork for a future in which human-like interactions with machines is the norm. The competition between Google Gemini and OpenAI in the dynamic landscape encourages innovation. It is more than a war of algorithms, it is a driving factor in the progress of AI. We are witnessing the start of a new era where humans and artificial intelligence dance in harmony, crafting the world of the future thanks to Google DeepMind's commitment and OpenAI's prowess. That's all there is to it, guys. In this epic battle, ChatGPT and Google Gemini demonstrated remarkable skills, each with its advantages. While ChatGPT wowed us with its generative abilities and imaginative applications, Google Gemini has the upper hand because of its contextual awareness, ethical considerations, and possible impact on the future. But keep in mind that this is only the beginning. The field of artificial intelligence is rapidly evolving, and who knows what the next generation of these models may bring. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe and definitely check out this next one.